Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for some Oktoberfest gameplay day one. Now I've already shared some of the imagery from this video on my social media because it has some tasks for people to see how to play the game. But I've put it all together in a video and before I hit the sack I'm going to put it into recording like you can see here and then talk about what I'm doing. Well this is my farm. Now one of my tasks I've got to do uh, relates to the mine so I'll come back to that one in a moment. As I look around there's a lot of crops down there as well and there's many other activities but first of all let's open up the event now when I click on the event it tells me how to play now I already know how to play basically what you need to do is to look at the tasks you've got there and decide if you want to take the task then do it or prepare for the task then take the task, then do it. So it's going to depend on the actual task itself. Now as you do the task, you start getting the points and then the points allow you to get the prizes. Now some of the prizes are really, really cool. Some of the prizes kind of suck. Uh, I like the actual pig decoration. I like the table. Now, will I be able to get enough points from doing these activities to get to the 15,000? I hope so. Um, without actually seeing all of the tasks that are loaded up on the board, I don't know. Now, we do know that each day you have 10 tasks. The question is, though, uh, will we be able to like continue with the rest of these tasks tomorrow after the clock resets, or does it reset the board? This I've got to wait and find out, so as I know more information, I will share it on my channel. Now, for my actual task, there's some mine tasks down there, as I said, and I need some ores. Now, first of all, what I could do is use some of my tools and get those ores. Or what's actually a better option is to actually go to the newspaper, because at the moment, there's a lot of people selling ores within the paper. And if you need ores quickly for this kind of event task, I would definitely recommend doing it. In fact, I'd advise going to do it now. Now, there's a lot of ores available down there. Now, most people tend to sell the silver, the platinum, or the coal, or the gold. So, if I were you, I'd load up one of the smelters with just silver, let it produce. One with gold, and one with platinum, just leave it. Then you've got two other machines on the go. Now, those other machines can, as an example, use coal, which tends to be more active, what I noticed previously. So, I'm going to load up coal on both of the machines. That way, for my task of four, I haven't got to wait too long. I can actually get those done very quickly. So, two machines will produce one coal one coal, then the second coal and second coal. At about the same time, in at the same moment, the other machines could be producing the rest of the metals, which do take a lot longer. So you've got five machines down there. Preloading those machines with specific products will definitely help you with any of those. Now, with the other ones down there, like the feta task, as an example, the feta pie, I need to go to the pie machine, not the cake machine, as I keep clicking in this game. I can always confuse those two. And then load that one up. Now, if you haven't got the products to make it, that's again okay. You can start producing the basic materials. But if you do, load up. Now, don't overload the machine because you only need a certain amount of tasks. And if you overload, then there's a strong possibility that you might need something else. Now, that's not going to be too much of a problem for me. I've uh, loaded up three. There's a fourth task down there. Hey, great, I just get an extra feather later. Especially since I'm going to go to bed soon. Anyway, now loading up the other machines again is cool. I'm not preloading too much. Now, if I wanted to, I could load up the machines with more tasks. Uh, and then leave it there and then fingers crossed the next day when I come back they are there. But within a 24 hour period I've definitely got enough time to produce enough goods. Now I have seen some of the tasks that are required by different players. Like there's diamond rings. Not happy about that one because it means using diamonds that I've either purchased or got within the game to collect it. There's the possibility of other jewellery as well. But again I'm going to hold off preloading jewellery in case I need the metal bars for them. So, some things I will and won't do. Now, there are some products that I can preload. So, I've got two sugar machines. Now, I'm hedging my bets that one of the sugar is going to be brown, one of the sugar is going to be white. So, I can preload those machines. Now, there's a possibility syrup may come up. I would also recommend making animal feed, uh, specifically for the actual sanctuary as well. So start producing uh, some of the actual wheat down there and making those hay bales. Remember you can request certain products from your hoodies to help you out, as I will do later as well within this video, uh, because there's a difference between waking and feeding. Now, if you've got a task for feeding, let's say it's five, uh, and 
except it's waking tasks. You don't have to do both of them. You can just feed one and not wake them up. If it's a waking task, you don't have to feed them. You only have to wake them up. But be careful. They do take around 10 hours to cycle through their system. So if you are going to do it with a lower level farm where you've only got a few of the sanctuary animals, then it's going to be very challenging to actually do that task. As I found with the birthday one, I could trash those ones. Now, trashing for this event is a pain in the backside. I would not advise it. We are limited to 10 tasks a day. That is six on the initial board and then four in the queue. Tomorrow, after the 24 hour cycle, uh, you will get another 10 tasks that will be added. Now, I was of the opinion that the tasks would kind of like add. So if I didn't do all of the tasks uh, in the actual queue, then 10 would be added to that one the next day and then I could do it but it seems that it doesn't accumulate on that side so you need to make sure all of your tasks are done from the queue and are actually loaded onto the board and you are preparing for those now will those tasks on the board uh, reset like we do with the uh, chill derby uh, or uh, will they still continue? Because some of these tasks take more than 24 hours. Uh, like the actual metals down there, one day, 30 minutes. So if it's a 24 hour cycle, then technically I wouldn't be able to do that. Now, the fact that I've got more than one machine makes it possible. But with some of the tasks, absolutely not indeed. So it is more difficult to think about on that side. Um, but again, as I get more clarification on information, I will let you know. Now, I do wish that I'd had access to this in the dev build, like we did with the birthday one, then I could have given you a lot more information. So apologies that my information is lacking. And that is the same for the other content creators. We're all trying to confirm certain things as we play this. And we will share that information on social media. Now, my total tasks for my 10 tasks come to 1,900 points. Now, the points are varying depending on the play up. So some people are getting high points, some people are getting a little bit lower. Will that be changed as you progress through? Will the totals vary depending on the level, depending on the items you've got to do? Again, I don't know. Based on the birthday one in the past, tasks were worth more points or fewer points. Now, considering the amount of points that we've got to get on that actual event board, uh, I'm very concerned that we may not be able to get enough points. So 10 tasks a day over the seven days, basically. Um, if I did 1,900 points for every day, that's not enough to get me to the final total. Um, so I really do hope that the points do vary because as I look at the board, I can claim some of the prizes, but uh, about 1,300 points it comes to, so 13,000, sorry, uh, it doesn't give me enough to get a table. And I don't want to be spending diamonds to do this. That doesn't feel right. I want a fun, easy game. Um, but again, I will let you know on that one later. Right, now, in relation to the game at the moment as well, just to let you know, there are some wonderful decoration pieces that have been added into the game as well. If you head up into the shop, you can actually see those as well, and maybe you might decide to purchase those. In addition to the decoration, it's also available down here on the bar itself. Now, I've already claimed my prices on the bar, and additionally, I've purchased some of those wonderful items uh, from the top bar as well. So if we have a look at the shop itself, uh, you can see we've got some Oktoberfest diamond offers down there. Uh, include boosters as well. Now the boosters I'm not so interested in. So I will probably go to the Supercell shop uh, and purchase my diamonds from there uh, because I get a little bit more than what I would if I did it through the game itself. And I can use the creator code on the Supercell shop as well. But if you're interested in boosters, you want diamonds as well, there's some offers down there very handy indeed make sure you tap on the C to go to the end of the shop type in the creator code in this case red knight or another content creators code please do support your favorite person before you make a purchase now there are three decorations down here we've got the path piece which is in the actual event I'm gonna grab myself some more of the 
these. There's the pretzel picnic, which looks very nice, and the maypole. But how big are they? What do they look like? Well, before I actually purchase it, what I'm going to do is to jump over to the dev build and show you my Oktoberfest design and add them into that. So here we are, we're in the dev build now. We slide on down to my Oktoberfest uh, area. You can see I've got my little Oktoberfest piglet down there added in. You can see my tables, you can see the path piece, and you can see my Bavarian pigs playing music. Now that is the maypole there. And my little piglet is enjoying dancing around there. And she looks wonderful. Now, I can't wait till she carries lots of uh, juice for me to drink. Down in the middle there, you'll see where the table are up against the path pieces. That's what the path pieces look like. Very pretty indeed. Uh, I Like I said, I'm going to buy a few more of those. And then there's the actual basket itself, which is also very, very nice. And I like that as well. So, uh, three cool decoration. Now, the new deco doesn't actually have any uh, interactive aspect to it. They're not really moving around, which is a shame. I'd love to have seen them moving. They would have been so much better for the actual uh, game itself. But like I said, I will be purchasing these now I know what they look like. So, one set of par pieces, one of the picnic pretzels, and one of the maple will be added to my collection. So, while you are playing, why not tap into the store and make those purchases if you've got the diamonds. Now, if you don't have the diamonds, like I said, Code Red Knight you know, or one of your other favorite content creators, please do type their code in there. The support for our channels is greatly appreciated and we do appreciate uh, all of the support that you give us at the end of the day. Uh, hence the fact that we try to support you all back with as much information as we can. Right, now let's come back to the event itself. Now, you can see down there I've got some tasks on the board. I loaded up my machines earlier in this case, so now I can actually see if they are ready and I can collect them. So as we slide on down to the machine, I can see, are they done? Well, the feta pies are ready, so I take the task. Once I've taken the task, I then go to the machine and I can collect it. Now, with the productions, make the goods first on the machine, then go up to the task and do the task. With certain of the activities, let's just say um, feeding animals, you've got to take the task first, then feed the animals. So please read the instructions before you do it. If you are collecting the produce first, then doing the task, it will not work work. So you have to make the items first, uh, then once they're ready on the machine, take the task uh, from the event, then go back to the machine and collect the produce. That will then work. Now as you can see, I've done all of my tasks up to and including the six, and I'm now on the last four. So I have a zero over in that corner. That means there are no more tasks due to come to me. So it's ten tasks a day as you know. Uh, once you've done those ten tasks, that's it. The board is basically empty. There are no more tasks unless you're spending diamonds to bring new tasks to it. Um, I will probably show you that tomorrow in another video, but I'm not at that stage at the moment. Like I said, I'm going to go to bed soon. Uh, and I will probably leave the one task hanging, which is the actual coal one. And then you'll be able to see that in the morning or the evening when I get back from work because I got an early start tomorrow. Now, I'm not trashing the task. Uh, if I trash the task, then I'm losing points. And points for me mean prizes. Um, personally, I feel there's sufficient time to do them, uh, even though they do take like uh, five hours as such. Remember, you've got the boost to speed up on the time for the products on the machines. So, when it comes to the ores, as an example, you can speed up some of those ores and make them produce a little bit faster. But also be aware, if you are speeding up, you might end up taking a task before you've actually, or sorry, taking the product before you've done the task. So make sure that you have not collected before you collect the task. That is really, really important. Anything you can't do and it's not ready, just leave it till later, it's not a problem. Now the actual prize is down there, very nice. Once you collect them, you'll get the tick mark, it will go up into the corner. And then once you've collected it, the icon will change and will show you the next task that you're on. So initially you saw the Bavarian Pass. If I go up into the corner now and have a look, you'll see it says puzzle piece. And once I've done the puzzle piece, it will then tell me it's a map piece, which is not really good because I've got all of my 
town opened up so that's kind of a waste of a, a, a resource for me uh, now as you can see down there it says tasks do not accumulate this is what I'm double checking and we're all counting on I had assumed from the information that if I would had one task in the queue uh, then the other 10 would add behind that one but it now appears that if it doesn't accumulate then you need to actually get all of your tasks on the board so you are zero then when you are zero the next 10 tasks will then add to it as though it's like resetting that board my guess is that any tasks that you haven't taken from the 10 uh, will be trashed now how does that relate to the event board like I said I will get mine done within the 24 hours so I won't have to worry about that uh, so please make sure you are getting them done uh, like I said I think there's sufficient time to actually be able to do those tasks uh, especially if you plan and prepare nicely considering the events uh, start it now I've got more than one farm I haven't started the event on the other farms probably not going to be focusing too much on those but uh, maybe I will do some of the tasks when I get the time tomorrow today I've just been very busy indeed now at the same time it's all about preparing it's all about loading up the machines it's all about getting ready uh, I've got a nice little animal feed task down there which is 500 points that is a good total I'm not going to lose out on that one if I come down to my production machine I can uh, prepare those bales or what I can also do like I said is ask my hoodies um, if your hoodies can give you resources why not do it now remember that the resources you get there uh, are not from the machine so if you've got let's just say five fetters your hoodies donated to you it's not coming from your machine so it doesn't count uh, you need to get resources from them to make the products which you can then collect from the machine then they count towards the task so exactly the same as the birthday one from last time again if you want to use Tom to get resources not a problem but again Tom's items do not count towards that task uh, so please be very 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 careful about that because I don't want you to fail any tasks do as I said look at the tasks before you take them prepare first get your machines loaded up with the products you need once those items are ready to be collected take the task collect the products if it's an animal look at the task take the task first do the animal and be careful that feeding and wake up for sanctuary is not the same and there's a 10 hour cycle for those animals they take a long time now with some of the machines if you want to you can hedge your bets you can load it up with some products uh, maybe they will be needed maybe they won't be needed again it's a kind of a hit and miss on what's going to happen now I got like 17 hours to go before this event is over so that's plenty of time for me to sleep go to work and come home before the new set of tasks are there so will those products be necessary I don't know um, but lots of metal bars are going to be ready in that time so in 17 hour period between now and then I can produce at least one of the platinum bars and gold bars and silver bars as well and I can get my coal done as well so it's a nice starting point <sighs> This event is definitely interesting indeed, and a lot of questions have come out from it. Uh, apologies that we've not been able to give you 100% of the information that we like to do. Uh, I don't like starting these events and not showing you what's going to happen or what's going to need. So as I said, I will try to give you as much information as I can confirm uh, once the Heyday team is awake. Because I'm in Japan, as you know, my time zone is very different. Uh, when they're working, it's late in my evening. So questions when I do ask during the day or the night, they answer the next day. And then when they finish working, if I've still got questions, I kind of can't get any more answers now that chest down there is very nice indeed I like the resources but not going to do that one now I've got some tasks there I'm ready to proceed with doing these ones let's get them done we slide down to the machine you'll see that my beautiful toffee apples are ready we take the task down there and then I go collect one two three lovely tick mark comes up head back up there again claim that one points mean prizes we're going to do the actual white 
top next so before we take it we slide on over see if it's ready yes it is look at that beautiful take the task click that uh, task is now ready take the items one two three bingo come back up claim the resources now did my hoodies help me out on this one uh, the coal I can't do I'm gonna leave that till later that won't be ready till the next day this one I can do now and this is feed five sanctuary animals so yeah did my hoodies help me they did look at that you beautiful people you so I collect all of those go say thank you very much because it's polite to say thank you if you don't say thank you then I think your team should boot you from the hood because manners are very important so please and thank you that's what my parents taught me so I miss them a lot actually living in Japan is very difficult especially when they're not so well and uh, getting back is not so easy as you know if you live overseas right now I've helped as best as I could we've got to head on into the town now and we're going to do that one so before I take it double check head on into the town slide on over and you see my animals running around now some of those are going to go back to sleep some of those are already sleeping and some of those need feeding now feeding doesn't mean waking them up so I can feed them either through the meat bucket so I can feed them through the actual uh, hay bales so both count so one two three oh didn't count that one so one more three four okay that's done don't have to wake them up I'm just gonna leave them sleeping because I'll save them for another time we need to do two more so there's one more down there and who should I feed oh, he's going back to sleep there you go so five done now I got some feed burials left I'm not gonna touch those because I might get another feed task next time now that 500 point is done which is very nice indeed look at that I get a puzzle piece <gasps> will that puzzle piece allow me to get my animal it won't I actually got another puzzle piece earlier which went to the beautiful penguins that we're getting in the game and I didn't want it to go to the penguins I wanted it to go to my one animal map piece is useless look at that like seriously hey date why the newspaper is full of map pieces I did request for these to change I did look all my beach is open nothing else to be done there my whole area is open up there's nothing to be done at all okay I can sell them but everybody's selling them at the moment there is no new land added see one piece there look one piece I could have done my meerkat pup and it went there like typical I really wish all the puzzle pieces would go to the one puzzle once it's done next puzzle next puzzle then next puzzle it would make it so much easier right now I can't do any more tasks okay the October festival is there remember as well to go to your farms and make sure that you do actually do any tasks to get the double points uh, for the farm pass I want to miss out on that one if you prepared it start doing your wheating if you've got that done as well so you can make the bales and get those ready for another day get some feed meal ones done for the meat buckets as well if you've got the fish and then you'll be good to go on that side as I said with the machines down here I've got two coal bars ready I'm not going to touch the machine because I'm going to go to bed and they will be ready when I wake up in the morning but I've loaded up some of the other machines with specific ores and one machine one ore as you can see down here now refined coal is not so bad to do that one doesn't take so long but some of those metal bars do take hours and hours and hours to produce which is not so nice uh, very frustrating indeed um, but some of them are okay but as you can see that's a lot of time so I'm probably gonna get one of those done between the time it takes for me to sleep and wake up oh my god I'm tired it's getting late Working's good, but tomorrow I've changed my schedule so I can uh, start earlier and finish earlier, which will be nice. Thursday, I start very early, got a donut break in the afternoon, and then again work in the evening, which I like. And then Friday, I'm going to take the day off to enjoy this and make more videos and live stream as well.
Right, that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the commentary and you've watched the gameplay just to give you a good idea on what to do. If you've got any questions, I posted on my Facebook a little post about leaving your questions down there for the Oktoberfest. You can also comment below this video or my other one and let me know. The green box, as you know, in the shop, which you saw earlier, is to make any purchases where you can type in the creator code. So why not support me if you like my content or one of the other content creators? Please choose one of us. Here you can see the subscribe to my channel. Please do hit that mark and hit the bell notification at the same time so you know when I upload videos. And I try to do that as often as I can based on my schedule. Yeah, plus live streaming heyday twice a week. There's also videos in the playlist. But either way, I'm going to say goodnight and see you tomorrow. Bye now.